Test you, test you. Like the Lone Ranger, not a stranger. I ain't scared of danger. My say it was born in a manger. Nappy head dropper, that's me. Uncle Nappy, deliver the mail so you won't go to hell. Nappy head dropper, oh yeah, nappy head dropper. You can't tell me to stop. You know, I can recall, you know, I got recalls and remembers and memories and everything. Praise God, y'all think his brother don't forget nothing. But anyway, I remember flying into a city and uh, they sent a lady with a car to pick me up. Praise God. I was going down there. We were going to minister. Amen. And when the lady picked me up in a car, I noticed that the bumper kept bouncing and hitting the ground and everything. And I was like, Lord, I wonder what she got in there. Praise God. So anyway, when she opened up her trunk... So that I could try to put my stuff in, put my suitcase in, my God, I noticed all this stuff. It looked like years and years of buildup in the trunk, praise God. Oh, my God, see how when the car, the trunk is full, it can cause the bumper to bounce and, and, and drag the ground. It can also cause uh, rear end problems. Come on now, it, it can make you burn more gas and you need to be burning, praise God. It can wear your tires out, hallelujah, because see, it's just too much junk in the trunk, praise God. Oh, my God, see, some of you all, praise God, you've been walking around around uh, sick all the time praise God oh my God how you got abominable things going on got all kind of stuff going on cuz you got too much junk in your trunk now I know in the world they use the term boy she got a lot of junk in the trunk but we ain't going there we talking about having too much stuff in your trunk that's weighing you down praise God all that you can't be what God called you to be come on you've got people's words come on some of you all that you, you put your shout and your praise in the trunk and you pull it out on Sundays but after church you put it back in the trunk and you're riding around got so much junk in the trunk that has accumulated over years, praise God. And God is saying, get the junk out your trunk, praise God, so that you can ride with him, praise God. He can ride with you, praise God. Hallelujah, because you got too much weight in there, praise God. You got too much, you got abominations in there. Oh, you look in the trunk, homosexuality is in the trunk. Come on now. You look in the trunk, there's some, a box of adultery. Come on now. Oh, there's a, a, a pillowcase full of fornication. Come on now. Oh, you got your liquor back there. You got your party. Come on now. Oh, freaks in the trunk. Come on now. Oh my God, get the junk out of your trunk, praise God. Oh, so that you can ride, praise God. You can put a glad in your stride, in your ride. Hallelujah. Oh my God, hallelujah. And you can flow with God, praise God. But when you got all that drunk junk in there, it's wearing you down. Come on. When the spirit is wore down, when the spirit is oppressed and depressed, here comes sickness and affliction to the physical body. Because you got too much junk in your trunk. You got other people's burdens in your trunk while you're trying to ride around, praise God. You got other people's burdens. Every other people's concern. Ah, oh, you got your grandkids' nasty ways huh? in your trunk. You've taken on more huh? than you can handle, praise God. And God is saying, get the junk out of your trunk. Come on now. Oh my God, hallelujah. Let's go to Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily beset us, so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Now he said, wherefore, seeing also so we are also are compassed about with the so cloud of, so great a cloud of witness. But he said, let us lay aside every weight and the sin. Now we talk about sin, but what about the weight? Come on now. And sin is a definitely a weight. But there are some things that are weighing you down. Huh? Oh my God, and see, don't let, hallelujah, the light of God. Don't let, hallelujah, the light of my salvation. Huh? Don't let the light have to creep up on you and pull you over, praise God, and make you pop the trunk. Come on now. Oh my God, some of y'all.
y'all have given me ready to get a shakedown in the spirit. The light of God is going to pull you over and tell you to pop your trunk. Oh, and when the trunk open up, oh, you got abominate. Look at it. Homosexual sitting right over here. Lesbianism. Y'all got some S&M things in the trunk. Got all kind of freaky Zika things going on. But God is going to pop that trunk one day. And you want to clean that trunk out before you get pulled over by the Lord. Oh my God, because once he pop it, it's too late. Praise God. Oh my God, get the junk out of your trunk. Whatever that you so easily beset you, the things that you're into. Oh my God, if you just open the trunk and throw it away. And if you can't do it, I know somebody that can. If you just call up on the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. If you just call up on Jesus, somebody stand right now and say, Lord, I'm opening up my trunk. I need you to get the junk out of my trunk so that I can ride on through those pearly gates. Because I'm telling you, if you got junk in your trunk, you ain't going to make it in the pearly gates. You got lasciviousness in your trunk. Oh my God, you got adultery in your trunk. Come on now. Oh my God, you still smoking crack. It's in your trunk. Come on now. Hallelujah. See, you got it in your trunk thinking it's concealed. But when the Holy Ghost pull you over and pop the trunk, oh, you're going to be judged accordingly, praise God. Oh my God, hallelujah. And if you don't understand about the Holy Ghost pulling you over, oh, that's when it's over, praise God. That's your last call for alcohol. Hallelujah, praise God. Get the junk out your trunk, praise God. Let's go to James 1 and 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth, le- uh, bring forth death. Now lust is a strong, wicked desire. But he said every man is tempted. Come on now, but you ain't got to let them put it in your trunk, praise God. You run over that thing in the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh, you cast it out, rebuke, bind in Jesus' name. He said, but when you are drawn away of your own lust, come on now, because you got lust in your praise God. Oh, you want it this way, two of them, three of them, four of them. Come on, do it like this, do it like this. Swing on chandeliers, whatever, praise God. He said, but when lust has conceived. Come on. Now lust is conceived because you get, got lust in your trunk. Come on. Oh my God. And he said, it bring it forth sin. Sin is in your trunk because lust is in your trunk. And when it is finished, it bring it forth death. Well, you know what? Death is coming, praise God. If you continue to hang on to lust, if you continue with sin in your trunk and lust in your trunk, according to the word of God, death is right around the corner. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Gay ain't the way. Tell your daughter. Some of y'all got daughters, teenagers, that's lesbians. And you know it. You see it, but you don't want to address it. You better bind that demon up in the name of Jesus. That kind cometh out by fasting and praying if you need to know. But you better pop your trunk, praise God, and get that filth out, praise God. Get that wickedness out. Get lust out your trunk. You got rebellion in your trunk. Come on now. Oh, you got deceitfulness in your trunk. You got magic in your trunk. Warlockism. Come on now. Witches and witchcraft. Y'all got all kind of junk in your trunk. But the Holy Ghost is going to come and pull you over one day. And he ain't going to ask for your ID because he knows who you are. He ain't going to tell you to pop your trunk. Oh my God, and your sins are going to be exposed before Almighty for the world to see. You don't want your sin to find you out, so you better get the junk out your trunk. Hallelujah, John 7 and 49. But this people who know it not the law are cursed. Get the curses out your trunk. He ain't talking about the law of the Constitution. He's talking about the law of God. He's talking about the commandments of God. Oh my God, hallelujah. Oh, but see, if you don't know the law, huh, huh, come on now, you already cursed. Why? Because you're walking in things that you don't even know is right or wrong, praise God. But you're doing your own thing, which brings you under curse anyway. Because his ways are not your ways. His thoughts are not your thoughts. You got to obey God or go to hell, praise God. Oh my God, hallelujah. That sums it all up. He said, love the Lord that God with all your heart, your mind, your strength. Oh, love your neighbors, you love yourself. Now, if you can't handle them, them are the two war laws that cover all laws. And if you're not operating in them, praise God, you better pop your trunk and see what kind of junk you got in there. Some of y'all been carrying this stuff for years and years and years. Oh, you broke down, sick and everything. Got arthritis because you've been hating for 20 and 30 years. So your muscles have contracted, praise God. It take 97 muscles to make a frown, but it only take three to make a smile. You need a Pop your trunk, you'll feel a whole lot better. When you get that junk out of your trunk, you'll ride better. Oh, you'll have a glide in your stride, a dip in your hip, and you'll be ready for the fathership that's ran by Jesus. Come on now. Get the junk out of your trunk, praise God, before you get pulled over, praise God. Matthew 11 and 28. 
The word of God says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy burnt laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you don't have anything in your trunk, you better have his yoke and his burden. Oh my God, God, see. I know you're going through, but I can't carry your junk in my trunk. I ain't got enough room. I like a clean trunk. Come on now. I like a clear trunk. Come on now. I like a trunk that's ready to receive some blessing. How can you get the blessings of God if you got junk in your trunk? Come on now. Oh my God, you want God to bless you, but your crack pipe is laying under the carpet in your trunk. Oh, you want God to bless you. Oh my God, that person that you didn't beat up, you done threw in the trunk. All your sins and wickedness, your abominations. Oh my God. <laughs> Excuse me, trademark. Get the junk out of your trunk. <laughs> and see, some of y'all got so much junk, <laughs> you don't know where to begin. <laughs> well, I'll tell you where you begin. <laughs> Our Father with y'all in heaven, <laughs> I'll tell you where you begin. <laughs> Jesus, come see about me. <laughs> I'll tell you where you begin. <laughs> Lord, I need your help. <laughs> it's too heavy. He said, all oh, ye that are heavy laden, it's too heavy, Lord. <laughs> help me, Lord, clean my trunk. <laughs> oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> send forth your clinging power. Through the Holy Ghost Somebody call on Jesus Oh my God to get the junk out of your trunk It don't look nice It ain't pretty Some things you just got to throw away and let go Oh my God you got some people in your trunk That you need to get out I'll get the junk out of your trunk So you can ride with Jesus